영화나볼래조조오예너만좋다난고고가보세대답해그냥오오 She said yes. TK. Hey, Jessica here. So today I'm feeling a little bit more alive thanks to Anna who helped me go get some cold medicine because. I got a really, I mean, I had a really bad cold, but I didn't know how bad it was until I woke up with a fever this morning. So we went to the pharmacy, which is actually, was open, was actually open at 10 o'clock this morning, thankfully. And I got some cold and flu medicine, I think is what he said. And it was like 3,000 won. So that's really cheap here. So I was so happy. So that equivalates to about $2.75 maybe around there. And American dollars, so it's not that bad. Um, <clears throat> I also had to wear a face mask today just because I didn't want to, you know, get other people sick. Actually, hold on. I have it in my bag. So this is what a typical face mask looks like in here. Ouch. <laughs> and <clears throat> you do it so that way you don't like, you know, spread the germs, but also, um, I think it's pretty cool because nobody looks at you really weird here with them on. It's like really common here. So Anna and I bought these and they're like the cloth ones and they were 3,000 won. Again, $2.75. So not that bad and we just wash them and then we use them again. And especially, especially find us actually. That's what we get alerts of on our phone and also our schools. Um, give us alerts to find us as well. The kids can go outside and play. So, yeah. Anywho, so this is my introduction. We are going to the... Where are we going, Anna? We're going to a puppy cafe. We're going to a puppy cafe. I'm so excited. We're gonna go play with puppies, I hope. So the first time we tried going, we were going after school and everybody was dressed up. It was up. Friday. It was Friday. And we were all dressed up and we were ready to go because we were gonna meet some puppies. And then we get a text from Jackie and she said that they were closed. But it, which was weird actually that day because Emar and Lotemar, which is like the big like the big stores around here where we get like groceries and just random jazz, um, were actually all closed as well. Um, one of our friends, Adolf, got on the bus while me and Anna were riding back all sad from finding out that we couldn't go to the cafe. We had Japanese though. Um, so yeah, he told us that everything was closed and stuff. It was really weird. We don't know yet because we've only been here for like four weeks. So we don't really understand like what's going on. And we're still learning how to read Hangul. So hopefully we'll get better at that. But yeah, so today's our second try. Hopefully we'll succeed. If not, we'll keep trying. Wish us luck. Wish us luck. Seriously, <laughs> we need some luck. Alrighty then y'all. Well, let's get to it. 182번 버스가 잠시 후 도착합니다. 아, 어디 스크린쉐딩. Anywho, so to get into Shin Jeju, you take oh, what is it acting? Two, any of the 250s or two, uh, or the 282 bus, but not to come back. Don't take the 282 to come back. And so that usually tells you it's on its way, and that usually tells you it's on its way. And sometimes you can actually see it from here. So, you have to stand out, like Anna. Anna, where are you from, actually? I'm from Houston, Texas. You're from Houston, Texas. Hey, H-Town represent. Well, what's up? <laughs> we from the States, y'all. Okay, we so. We from the South, too. We from the South, too, yeah. So, anywho, if you don't stand out here like Miss Anna, my prime example, then what happens is they just fly by. <laughs> yeah. They don't care. They the, the buses will literally fly by. You need to stand out. So stand out, make sure that you're in their view so that way they stop and you get on the bus without your message. So anyway, arri arrival soon. The lovely thing about Korea is that they really do use a lot of English than other typical countries I would say. Yeah, thank God. So yeah. That has made it so I mean, much. usually you would be able to press this, but they, this is not working, yeah, so... Yeah, our... The one in our bus stop okay. is oh, shit. kind it's of sad. TV okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. So, Anna, what kind of burger did you get? I got spicy Shanghai burger, which I'm assuming 
is a spicy chicken sandwich. Mm. God knows what's in it, but we'll find out. We'll find out. What did, what was the description? What did it say? I don't know. One okay, the normal one said it had ricotta in it, but the picture for the spicy one did not have ricotta, so I'm we'll find out, like I said. God okay. knows. Do you mind opening it up? Sure, why not? But please, what a hell. We got this weird find out what's in it. So we're McDonald's by the way, I don't think I said that. Ooh. We're on the second floor at McDonald's as well. <laughs> it looks like a normal chicken sandwich, dude. It looks dude. like a normal chicken sandwich. It better be spicy. It doesn't look good. It's not, you know, it's not the fluorescent red that I'm used to when it comes to the United States, but you know. <laughs> that creepy red? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Hey, okay, what cool. about you and your shrimp burger, girl? Lovely, lovely. Okay, cool. So, last time we tried coming here, I wanted a fish burger because I had heard that like Korea offers like um, seafood kind of burgers. But then I realized they don't have fish burgers, but they have shrimp burgers. But they don't let you know that they have shrimp burgers. You kind of have to figure, figure it out. Ooh. So this is what it looks like. Okay, for McDonald's it doesn't look bad. No. Listen, your bun looks better than mine. I was going to say the buns look really good here. Yeah. Yeah. I'm really satisfied with our choices. Bless. Bless. All right, so we're going to eat, and then we're going to try to figure our way to the puppy cafe. Let's go. I don't know how I feel about that anymore. 
This this place is all about loyalty. You pick one dog, and if you, you betray him, they all ignore you. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Okay, I choose him. <laughs> this is like Pokemon. I choose you. So this is a ducky hotel. And the doggies are super happy here. They're just getting babysat. I guess that's what you would call it, right? So the doggies are treated well here and they nap here if they stay here or if they're just getting babysat if parents take them home. So I think it's pretty neat that if you, you know, are out of town and you need someone to take care of your doggies, that someone's always gonna be here to play with them. So I think that's pretty cool. I think this cafe is really nice and really thoughtful. For the doggies at least. Right? Yay! So I think that is it for the puppy cafe and if you guys want to come it's about seven bucks right? Yeah, is it on me? I can't even tell. Yeah, okay, great. it's seven, seven bucks. I said seven bucks. Seven thousand won. And you get a drink. You get a drink, and then you get a mission to come here and play with the puppies because they are so cute. And it's a rainy day, and I have a cold, and they made me feel so much better. So, anywho, yeah, that's it. Okay. <laughs> I think nowadays, I think it's common for people to speak Korean, so maybe they don't want to be like, you cannot speak Korean. Yeah, some people get offended, I think. They usually just look at me and think the English version. <laughs> 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 This is for lunch. <laughs> Saturday and Sunday. Oh. So then you can never go, I guess. <laughs> Basically, no, no, no lunch menu on Sundays and Saturdays, and uh, no happy hours, I guess. <laughs> of course, it's not. Croquette. Croquette. One croquette, 5,000. Interesting. I think I'm going to stop vlogging now because I'm kind of tired. <laughs> so, anyway, let's all say goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Oh, oh, she said yes. Ticket to Jamon, no, 